going to be banned away. Yeah, Fizz is going to be banned. They don't want to deal with Mitsuda's Fizz in fighting against an Akali because he really knows how to play that matchup. So the only option that they have here is to have that Lucian in the mid lane, or if not, a Kassadin in the mid lane is also going to be okay and let Mirmo pick up that Lucian against that Varus. What's going to be the last ban here? It is going to be the Ash of Mirmo. Great respect coming in from G2 Blacklist just in case that Naos Esports is going to be playing the rotations later on, looking to work around the map using the Enchanted Crystal Arrow. Plus, they have the, uh, the Camille and the Nautilus. Oh, it's just... It, it makes a lot of sense to take this Ash down. But, yeah. yeah. Zaya. Zaya on Mirma. Ever since a while ago, the Zaya was open. And now they're going to be picking up the Zaya even though that, that Ezreal was open. It's because they are now afraid. They're now respecting the fact that that Barris from Golden Kite was really good during that last game. And now Jace is going to be picked here by KD. He's just going to be using it again in the jungle. Ooh, this is going to be tough for now's esports. Even more. Double pokes are always effective. The uh, the, the uh, arrows coming in from the virus, the shock blasts coming in from the Jace as well. Now Esports has to be very, very careful in the laning phase, Ooh. especially in preparation for team fights as well. The Riven gonna be locked in. It's just massive for G2 Blacklist to have another champion that can execute the members of Naos Esports with a win slash, with a perfect execution. This composition is looking deadly. What they want to do here is simple. D2B wants to really take over this game just by using pokes. Then the execution damage from that Akali and that Riven is going to be what finishes the members of Naos Esports. A very, very neat setup. Especially if you can execute it in long range, it's going to be good for G2B. So that is an easy setup to do for the squad here. That is a nice composition. But on the other hand, Naos Esports went in for a very simple composition here. Just make sure that the double ADCs are safe. But how are they going to do that if the fight is so far away? Naos mm -hmm. might have a disadvantage here if they can't get the fight close to where, for, to where G2B is. Massive responsibility later on for Faith and Margo to land the dredge line, depth charge, and the cask as well. They have to connect those crowd controls or else the rest of Naos Esports, or at least the back line, will be threatened a lot by G2 Blacklist in two ways. The engage coming in from the Riven and the Akali, and of course, the pokes coming in from the Jace and the Varus. Yeah, and for now, now is Esports. How are they gonna turn this series around? Will we go back to square one again? And back to a classic best of three if ever this goes to a 2-2? Two -two? Or will G2B just go the lengths and get this to a 3-1? I like to mention that if th this is going to be a win by now, Esports, technically it is going to be yeah, just like the back. regular season, yeah. the group stages. We're back to a best of three. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. But in a, in a much more extended fashion, because yeah. both of these teams surely are getting tired by the, or at least the longer the series goes by. Yep. Yep. The endurance of the players are always going to be needed here for this point. Margo. Gas is not available this time. They don't have to be very aggressive here oh. on the side of NAS Esports, but another exhaust is going to be coming through. Interesting. Just to win a little bit of the trade there for Mirmo. Yeah. And this Varus from G2B, one of the greatest things about the Varus, especially whenever it's holded by uh, the members of G2B, is that they're so good making use of that early game advantage. The range advantage of Varus is just massive. Ooh, the pokes coming in from Mitsura, but actually... Aaron is able to land better damage onto this Lucian more than Mitsura is able to deal towards Aaron. So, laning phase actually is just much better here for Aaron so far. Yeah, and for what they want to do here for G2B is to just, just find a way to get that execution in the early game. They have a lot of leverage in the early game, which is why this composition is just easy to pull off. Just to wait for that timing and they would be able to just snowball the fight. Same goes for G2 Blacklist. They're just going to be waiting for level 5 and then they're just going to be continue striking the members here of Naos Esports. First item power spikes as well are just going to be so difficult for Naos Esports to endure just because this is a virus and this is a Jace. Yeah. Right now, Naos might be a bit hard here for the squad. It might be lacking a bit in the damage department just because they do have a Lucian and they have a Zai. I guess that's good. But they could really itemize really easily here on the other side. The only good thing about Naos Esports composition uh, with this Nautilus jungle is that normally we do see the Nautilus 
jungle building AP, dam AP items that translate into more burst damage. And yeah. that can be utilized later on towards Aaron to pin him down, take him out, and then have the numbers advantage unlocked for now C-Sports. What they can maximize here is the power that they have, the CC that they have on the squad. Because with the Nautilus and the Kragas and their composition, it's just going to make it easy for this ADCs to just go for the fights. And that's what mm -hmm. I like about this composition. So, we need to use that. Oh, Golden Kite. Just a bit of damage uh, taken there on his side, especially because of the Blade Collar. But still fine. Margo, though, is in a bit of trouble. Not oh, to the five just yet. Katie. Katie's loving the interaction. Depth charge is going to come charge. from Faith. They want to lock him down. They want to pin him down. They want to take the kill. And that's going to be it. Golden now Kite, Now, securing the first blood. The Dredge Strike is going to be connecting oh. as well. That's two kills by now, he's worth to start up this game. Two kills for now, he's worth too aggressive from KD to go for Margo. And that's the reason why they lost that, because he wasn't able to go for the Execute. Fate was able to cast that death charge, and that just made it sure that they're gonna get that kill. Oh man, that was so unfortunate for KD. Yeah, and look at this replay again. That that charge, he was able to cast it at the nick of time. And Golden Kite even flashed in just for them to secure this last kill. Bit of a mistake from G2B, but not a mistake that could really just push this to the boundaries for now. Yeah, it was not the best timing coming in from KD yet again. And we, we see a bit of a curse on Jay's players, right? When they go for Into the Skies, when they go into Hammer form and engage, oftentimes we see them being punished with that same movement. That's what Niles Esports did as well. No escape tools are present on the Jays. This time, Miramo actually having more confidence in the laning phase just because of what happened earlier. Yeah, this early, this early in the game, you don't really expect them to just get those kills. And, except if ever G2B would just find those kills, they oh, could win. Death charge. Red Shine, no, did not connect, but it's what not is anymore that? needed because the damage is just so high. Yeah, a lot of damage for their side, though, but they can go draw. It's gonna go win. What? What? Should have drawn gonna be used? Bottom time gonna be used, though, by Margo. Should have can No way. It's connecting. Margo might actually be in the bad oh, spot this time, but it's pressure is real. Perfect execution. They're gonna be seeing exit out, and Margo's Margo. gonna be pinned down by Aaron. A trade all coming in from the what Lucian, that? and that's gonna be better for now, Esports. Really surprised that they took that fight right there. They didn't have any <laughs> chances to win that, but again, Bot lane didn't even need to see that. They were looking for those kills. And again, Nazi Sports just looking to go the lengths in this series. And that's yeah. why they want to take over the early game from G2B. And they're doing it as well. Methodically and flawlessly as well. 3.6 thousand goal lead now. Yep. Let's take a look at the replay again. I was surprised why G2B went in for this fight. They didn't really have damage to go through here. Yes, Aaron was here, but Aaron doesn't have that much. Look at how much he dealt to Margo. He wasn't able to deal much. That's why Margo was able to heal it up in the end. That's why they got punished there. They got punished heavily. And the dive even went through. Oh. Not the damage from Faith, though. That is just so much. Again, <laughs> it's not a support setup, Nautilus. <laughs> yeah, this is what I like about uh, Faith going in for aggressive jungles with top side. I think they're going to go for again. They're going to have to walk away, though. They don't have a wave connecting into the tower. Rift Herald is going to be just into the mid lane. Mirmo is just going to be attempting to clear it oh, out. Calm. And calm. Chain oh, of Corruption coming through. The, the shield of the rat as well he's should be dead. enough to lock him down. Oh, man. That's a kill. It was baseball back. First turn has been secured though. Again, Aaron might be looking for a plan here in the bot side. We'll get spotted out. Hiding under the shroud. Fate is just waiting for it to expire so that he can now oh. start suppressing him. The depth charge into the dredge dial. And that's going to be the kill. It's what? enough. Oh. They got the kill though again. Aaron, this is gonna be bad for the squad. They're taking towers for towers. They got two. And one is gonna go to the side of G2B. I think top side is gonna be taken off. That's really a good start for Naos. And for a double ADC composition, giving them advantage is not good. This advantage is being exploited now by Naos Esports. And it's interesting how we see a bit of a difference here with regards to the pickings of their junglers to counter an Akali. KD loves picking the Lee Sin up early and he has confidence that he can and will be able to just disable an Akali. But the Nautil is just so good on Fate right now. Just giving Mitsura or giving Aaron though a hard time in the laning phase or in a team fight because one crowd yeah. control is enough. Ooh, I think a fight's gonna break out top side though. Everybody's here. They might be able to go in. And G2B looking for a setup. Fate is gonna be here though. I think G2 Blacklist has to give this tower away. Or if they fight, they need oh, to be very no. careful. Draw gonna be initiated. Marcus still gonna be fine. Tactical sweep by Khan just to 
zone some of the members out from G2 Blacklist and they skedaddle away. Yeah, they even have the timing just right here. Even when they got their Rift Herald a while ago, now Esports still got the Dragon and a 5k gold lead into their hands here. And KD, look at the confidence of this guy. He just wants to take over as much resources as he can. And what is hard about the Jace pick right now in the jungle is because of the patch 4.4D and where the jungle damage of Jace is, is, was lessened. And that's why he wasn't able to maximize this Jace during the start of the mm -hmm. playoffs. And uh, really not surprising that he is struggling in that wave clear compared to before. Yeah, absolutely. We see Fate actually being on par in terms of clearing camps. Being on par in terms of gold when no kills oh, no. was happening just yet. But the depth chart is going to be coming through here. Aaron is going to be in a bad oh, spot no. again. One HP away. And that's just one auto attack by Mirmo. Oh no. Doing the game one strat. Just finding a way to kill Aaron as much as they can. I think Akali should not be picked the next series of <laughs> round. Because those Akalis are not having the best days. Yeah. And if they pick it up, the, the counters are just here on both sides. Fate is just so good on this Nautilus right now, giving Aiden such a hard time scaling towards this game. And G2 Blacklist losing a lot in this early game is a bad sign again for them. And now Esports loving every single bit of gold lead that they're acquiring right now. 6,000 gold lead, two turrets secured as well along the way. The only lane they have to secure a tier 1 is top side. Yep. And from what we're seeing here now, it's just making sure that Aaron is not confident. He's back to the bot lane, and he's gonna stay at the bot lane. I think this fight on the top side, Draw might be able to push him back. Mm -hmm. Very carefully orchestrated there by uh, the members of G2 Blacklist, but uh -huh. still, the response are here from Naos Esports. Just making sure they are gonna be able to secure this oh, tower in man. the top lane. 1,300, Cast is gonna be oh. missing though. Draw still gonna be fine, Tower is gonna be falling down. The Carl with the engage, and the option gonna be used Stasis. as well. They have taken the Jace as well. Draw gonna be going in, still has no crack to throw this time around. The Jace oh. though is wide open. Aaron. Oh my god, the Feather Storm coming through, but still the perfect execution by Aaron still gonna be chasing Aaron. them down. He will oh. connect the shurikens and will take him down as well. Calm, trying to win the one versus one, but the Hall is just too strong already. Wait, man. Mitz? House Esports, though, what? still has won the fight. It's only yeah. the four members down, and it's only Mitz. Aaron remaining alive. What? Mitz has the mob there. He, he mopped down everyone who was far away, even though that Aaron was in the back line. And now Esports just came out on top in a 4-4-3, but Aaron still wants to fight here. I don't think this is going to be a good idea, though. He has to walk away. He has to give this chance for Calm to defend this tier 1 in the mid lane. Yeah. Thought that was Aaron's time to pop off. At least he got some kills out of that. Now Dragon is available. Could be a potential soul if ever they would be able to take down this Mountain Drake. They're not letting anybody from Nas to go for a push. They all have to be very careful. The Justice Punch nice is going to be blocked and is going to be taken down. Now Esports having the numbers advantage this time around. Carl, ha Carl has to walk away, but Hexic Ultimatum will deny him oh. from walking away. Carl? Turns onto Mitsuda Wait. trying to take him down, and the Sage is going to be buying enough time for him to get this outplay. And he does secure two kills for now Esports. Dragon still available. They can still go for it. Nobody would be able to take it on the side of G2B, even if KD's alive. So now Esports could definitely take this. Mitsura is 8-0 oh in this game. Dude, this is not good for them. He is busted right now. Mitsura 8 kills. Mirmo 4 kills. And we see G2 Black is struggling to even kill Calm. The guy that hasn't, hasn't secured any kills just yet. But with the way he is delivering all of those fights. And just maneuvering around the fight as well. This is... Just looking to be a great sign for now. Esports winning in this mid game right now. Soul Point is going to be a massive pressure here towards C2 Blacklist. Yeah, waiting for that one minute before that comes in, or rather four minutes before that comes in. So that is the chance. That is the win condition of now here just for them to finish the game. But G2B, what could they do? 5k gold lead still chaseable at this point in the game. Mm -hmm. but right now, G2B is just looking for chances to, to get Aaron any kills that he might be able to need. But he needs to be very careful. He has good inkling here towards Mitsura, stalking Chains him out. Shuriken gonna be coming through. Hexic Ultimate. Calm is dead. Calm is gonna be 
bad. Already, Meteor Ancestor is going to be coming through as well. The zone oh. with here's Anthos. It is going to be accessing the back line. Meteor is still going to be fine. Still kiting away. Jace go getting the double kill. Fetterstorm is going to be used to zone the members of Z2 Blackness out. The hero's entrance Wait, is denied Mirable. already. And the Zai is all alone. KD will just time the shock blast in oh. and take him down as well. And G2 Blacklist finally securing a massive win in the team fight. Oh, I think it's done yet. It's not Jeez, done. Jace. They oh. take him out. Make it a 3 for 3 and that's why it's not yet done. They were able to take down the tower and the top side tower is going to fall. But at least they got a 3 for 3 and that's what's good about now's esports. But G2B... They still have a fighting chance in this fight. 3k gold lead is now where we're at. But this mistake that we've seen from Nazi was a bit too aggressive from Calm. He was not able to move in this fight and all the damage just piled up on them. And all the AOEs just worked their way towards now. Baron is being taken. And it's running down fast. Calling gonna be used. Mitsuda gonna be threatened here by Aaron. The Baron's gonna be secured here by Fade. But still, it's gonna be locked Chains down. Next to the gonna be used. The Chain of Corruption. Yes, it's gonna be used as well. As Aaron walks in, the jump is gonna come Aaron. through. And Aaron still secured the kill onto the Camille Mirmo. Though trying to run onto on the feathers. Card is gonna be initiated and bursting him out as well. Alongside Wait. with the Jace. Mitsuda Wait. though is still alive. They can still what? fight out. Aaron's gonna be in a lot of trouble this time. Oh, so still gonna get on the outplay. It gets denied. And now he's forced winning the fight. That's in their ace. front lines as well, and they get the ace. Now Z Sports takes the ace in that fight, takes the Baron, takes the ace, takes everything out of G2B. And that was a great way to fight in that battle. And now they have a chance here with the Baron on their hands and nobody alive. They could just take some resources on the jungle of G2B. And that fight really worked in their favor. That's just because they knew how to play around that Baron. Dude, Lucian's. The Lucians, man. This time it is Mitsuda just popping up with the damage and making sure they get the wins, the trades, the better trades compared to G2 Blacklist. He is 14k right now. The gold secured by this Lucian is massive compared to the carries here of G2 Blacklist. Yeah, this is what we love about PH versus PH teams. The amount of fights that we're seeing. If we're seeing a CN team, that's two games for CN teams. There, it's one game in where you're gonna get 33 kills on the scoreboard. And that's why there's a lot of action that we're seeing around the map. So much action, and this is what we love for G2 Blacklist and Naos Esports. They love to fight, they love to force these fights, and they never back down. Not yeah. without landing the last punch. And this time, it is Naos Esports that landed the last punch in a massive one as well, allowing them to have this kind of goal lead. Yeah, remember. This is a time in where KD really is stronger because we know that KD is so good at stealing those bigger objectives that we have. Yeah. So the game's still not done. As long as KD is alive on that Dragon or Baron fight, he could still go for the steal whenever he wants to. And that's why it's still scary for now, even if they got advantage. <laughs> Just shield. Just yeah. denied the cancel the off guard. the recall. Yeah. OP. <laughs> yeah, that is true. It's a good thing they nerfed that item. But again, for this game, D2B needs to deny the soul from the hands of Nazi Esports. They need yeah. to find a way to get every vision that they can. They need to walk towards fate and they are going to go through it. I think Naos has a really great spot here. And that's uh, the biggest problem here of G2 Blacklist. You have to walk towards fate, but how are you going to be able to do that? He deals <gasps> so much damage. They're also being zoned no away here. Now. No vision. Are they going to give this soul? I don't think so. They have to fight it out. Draw's gonna be initiating. Justice Punch is gonna be used alongside the shield of the run. Card as well. Popping Here the comes KD. Well. No crown already. Going in with the perfect execution. The gonna be hiding under the shroud as well. And they get the soul for now. So Esports is gonna be very dangerous here for G2 Blacklist. And they take the card down. Now Esports for now gonna be fighting the members of G2 Blacklist. Shop Blast is gonna be coming through. The Taze is gonna be used here to buy some time. The Ignite is gonna be taken. Still, it's gonna be alive. It's still gonna be taken here. But now Esports as they're running them down. Carl dashing through. Mitsuda is gonna be chasing him down. It's burning the death. The red buff is gonna oh be making it happen. As Golden Kite's the last remaining member alive here on the side of G2 Blacklist, but Carl is Margo? gonna be in trouble. Golden Kite is oh, done charge. as Mitsura goes in. Margo tanked it up. The quadra kill secured by now Esports, and this should be the game. Yeah, that is now Esports for you. Whenever they take the fight, they were so not in the same page in G2B side. I was they were so far away and weren't able to catch a target and that's why Naos was able to win that taking us to a 2-2 and we are back to where we should be which is the same as the group stage of Skiyoung we're Woo! back to the best of three here we're back